Okay. Uh, I want to... I might need to just sleep. Because it's too late in the day. Oh no. <laughs> I'll wake up early. There we go. Let's explore over there. It's an area we haven't really gone to yet. Just another big grouper. Gotcha. Alright. Okay, so there are shipwrecks over there. Which might actually be nice for us. I want to do my best not only to find that body, but also to get resources, because we really are in need of some. Ooh. Those are like bones. Silver trinket. Okay. Interesting. We need more metal scraps. I think we need some more lumber as well. Citrine ring. Right. So this is lucrative for us. Metal scraps taken care of. Do we have uh, a three stack available somewhere? I'm trying to see if there's a spot I can make for it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, I'll grab some lumber here and then. Come on. There we go. Ooh, a research part. There we go. Okay, cool. We did it. Oh, is that the Leviathan? We gotta move. So that was a big, scary-looking fish. And that is a scary-looking fish sound. Oh, God. Oh, no. We were at attacked. My Oh, and one of my lumbers was damaged. All right, so now I know other boats at night might be gigantic anglerfish. Something slithers into my cargo hold. All right, some blighted fish. We're in a bad position. We don't have a lot of money right now. All right, well, we had our first encounter with that creature from the deep. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive.
I really needed lumber. Two cargo spaces left to hold engines. That's great, but we don't have any single part engines available to us. I really want these. We'll dump research parts into those and then we'll rest. All right. Uh, all right. Let's see. We gotta go to Little Marrow. Quickly sell this just to get some cash. All right. Let's look at our map. We've been over here. We haven't really been over there. Devil's Spine has some settlements on it, as does the Stellar Basin and the Gale Cliffs. I'm not really sure what's over here that we've allegedly been to. Just zoom right across. I want to focus on dredging today. We need more research parts desperately. Welcome. Found anything special lately? A gold ring clasped, clasping and glowing citrine. Sell that. And a silver trinket, a tarnished silver bauble, looks valuable. I just want to make sure the grieving father. He had a bronze belt buckle, that's right. Here we go. Oh, shoot. You know what? I should talk to the deck worker. Because he left without paying me last time. The dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. He seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally, a tremor shakes his body and his breathing becomes labored. He strains, clenching his fists, eyes shut tight with effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. His body relaxes suddenly and his eyes snap open again. They are cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. My buddy. Oh man, that's a bummer. Alright. Where do we want to go? I don't really want to try the Twisted Strand yet. I'm gonna try going to explore the Gale Cliffs, so we'll have to go this way. We need to get our money back as well, so. Wow, there's really high stock here. It'd be great to get something oceanic as well. Is that a message in a bottle way out there? Looks like it might be. Ooh, dolphins. No, that's just a buoy. 
But hey, we can uh, fish for some new fish, huh? Oh, I don't have Hadel uh, fishing supplies. All right, let's try to fish for whatever the heck. Oh, I need shallows for that. I don't have shallows. You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fishermen, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to blue mackerel. Gladly. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. More still empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Do I have a tiger mackerel? I don't. Uh, okay, so we unlocked a creepy friend. A rotten mast lays down on the island, half hidden by the foliage. At its base, an old boat is cracked in two. Okay. Score, holy crap. Bag of doubloons, hell yeah. And a research part. That's great. I was gonna go fishing, not gonna happen. Instead, we are going to book it to that town. It is late, so it's gonna be dangerous. We gotta get there quick. I gotta really push the ship. What is that? A message in a bottle? Artifact Manifest. What could that mean? What's over here? An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards ah. you. Oh, ah, greetings. We don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. <laughs> I've been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could help you move to Ingfo. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfo with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should have been divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now after all this time, I can't return without it. Why don't you give it back to him, then? Again, it's not as simple as that. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down it to its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. I'll look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. No, I'm assuming that is Ingfell over there. Ooh.
black mouth salmon. Decaying black mouth. Yeah, that's what we want. Truly. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, let's uh, head over here. This looks like a fine location. Ungfell, okay. What is it? Do you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I can bring you an aged conger eel. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Uh, ooh, I meant to ask... Where can I sell my fish here? We catch our fish ourselves here, so we don't have much need for buying any. But there's a merchant that travels around. She's usually anchored across the bay. She buys and sells almost anything, and she does repairs too. Okay. Excellent. Ahoy there, you're a new face, a fisherman I take it? Perfect, well, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I am a traveler and a merchant, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I also keep a stock of crab pots available for sale. Okay, that's useful. I assume that she buys things at a lower price. But I could be wrong. Mm. You might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can make the same upgrades to your boat here at this floating dock. Check it out. Okay. My question becomes... Does my stuff maintain across all docks? Ooh, ooh, she has a better engine than the peculiar engine. She does, it does cost more here though. Okay. Let's go fishing. Gotta head back. Yep, this way. Oh shoot, it's getting late. This is gonna be really dangerous for us. We're gonna have to really push the boat. We're moving slightly faster though, so that is nice. Nice. 15% resilience to panic. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Can we catch anything here? Yes. Bronze whaler, exactly what I wanted. Oh, and it's a trophy, too. Oh, no. Alright. 
This might end up deadly for us, so we gotta be real careful. We have to get back to Little Marrow. I fall asleep very easily to the sound of the ocean. I know that's a pretty common thing, but for me specifically, ocean waves and boat sounds are very soothing. Ooh. He pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. It's covered in dust, but otherwise seems to be in good condition. Okay. Sell that. That's all we got for him. Let's sell some stuff to the fishmonger. Excellent. We'll sell the basic crab pot, buy another efficient crab pot. Dry dock. Um, I want another light space. That's good. Net space. Hold the cloth. Excellent. Research stuff. We have one more research part. We'll just put it in there. Because we want these extra engine parts. blue an engine. Why did I do that? I'm so dumb. I think. Let's see what a uh, blood skin shark. Now that is interesting. Let's go sell stuff and then repair a ship. Uh, I'm bad at this ship maintenance thing. I push, I push my ship too hard. I really need more cargo space, that's for sure. And we need to dredge more. Because I need supplies. We have quite a few ongoing quests. We still need to help that lady move. Um, but that's a little bit tough right now. We still have that thing to read, too. Don't we? Yep. Okay. Uh... Let's read that description really quick. Artifact Manifest. Vessel, SY Grand Prize. Owner, Sir Michael Schult. Port Gale Cliffs. Oaken Music Box, purchased from the Antiquarian at Little Marrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside, otherwise in reasonable condition. 
It's not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism, pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mask. Carved wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck. Fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12-piece tea set. Bone china, six times cup, six times saucer, acquired from an eastern dealer, do not use. Jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Interesting. All right. I thought we had a improved crab paw already, but I guess not. All right. We'll head over to the Stellar Basin, I suppose. Or at least that area. Again, we really need to start raising money more. Dear God, we fished all day. Not good. Oh God, it was coming for me. Sometimes it feels like new rocks appear. <laughs> huh. All right, let's see. Again, I still, I really need to figure out a spot to dredge so that we can get more supplies. It's just, it's hard to find. What way is this? Devil's Spine? I guess we can go up here. Why not, right? Okay, excellent. Metal parts, this is one of the things we need. Oh no, this is a nice little trinket. Pearl earrings, how wonderful. Those look like manta rays. A one strong wooden hull lies broken across the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. Excellent. This is great. Cool. All right, let's keep exploring. Oh, a tent. Is this a shipwreck site? Is there a survivor?
wonder who this is. SOS, ah, I'm saved, saved. Oh, you are a sight for these sore eyes. You look terrible, are you okay? I bet I do, I've certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish for longer than I'd like. I washed up here, oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. We were in rough seas, and when a wave hit us broadside, I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew would have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? No. Oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Marrow, stranger? I should be able to catch them when they next stop by. Yes, I'll take you to Little Marrow. Castaway climbs on board. Hell yeah. All right. I don't want him on my deck when we are uh, out at sea at night. It's a very bad idea to have a passenger aboard, I think. I don't want him to get killed by a, a leviathan. Alright. The sweet rank smell of civilization, I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who's just been saved, he seems gloomy. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine, and I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least, but perhaps it'll be worth something to you. He removes the signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. It's emblazoned with a symbol of a captain's wheel. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. A ship's wheel sigil is emblazoned proudly on this ring. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. Sell trinkets, why not? I thought that had a lot of uh, fish at it, I guess not. We'll just sell some stuff. Dry dock. All right. Um, I did need one more lumber here. Uh, and what did this woman, where did she want to go? What is it? What did you want me to do again? Two units of lumber, two units of scrap to steel point, which is an island just to the north. Okay. I want to build a place for myself. All right. Um, it's too late to go out into deep water, so. to go get my crab things, so we'll go do that. And then we'll loop around north and bring that stuff over to where she needs it. What was that? That was not a good sound. Those are shallows. We gave up fishing there. I need to figure out where to get tiger mackerel. Oop. 
Who? What are you? A swordfish of some kind? Sailfish. Holy smokes, these are big. All right. Um, <laughs> might need to get rid of literally all of the fish I have currently. It's got to be right there, right? All right, let's do what we can. This is the island where the Builder wants materials delivered. Alright, well, we did our job.